Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Clinic. One of the subscribers messaged us last week and asked to cover a topic on how to prepare AR aging report using Excel. Here you go. Today we will show you how to do this using Power Query. If you guys have any topics that you want us to cover, feel free to drop us a message or comment. We will select one of the topics to show in the upcoming weeks. Okay, let's get started. In this tab, we have the information for customer names, a month, invoice date, and invoice number. Now let's reformat them into a table. Go to insert, then click table, and then select range. Remember to take my table has headers. Now let's go to data, and then from table, range. Everything looks all right except for the dates. We just want the dates only. Let's, let's remove the time here. Let's go to data type and then choose the dates. Click to replace the current format. Now the dates looks all right. Now let's proceed to calculate the aging days. Power Query can do this with one click. Let's go to add column and then choose age. All the aging days are displayed now. Now let's reformat them into whole numbers. Let's categorize the aging now. Go to the add column and then conditional column. Rename the new column to whatever name that you want. Set the conditions. If A is less than or equal to 30, then the output will show as smaller than 30 days. If the age is smaller or equal to 60, the output will show as 31 to 60 days. If age is less than or equal to 90, then the output will show as 61 to 90 days. If age is more than 90 days, then the output will show as more than 90 days. Now we are done with Power Query. Let's load it as pivot table format into the existing tab. Drag aging days into columns and drag the amount into values. Drag the customer into rows. Then the, the aging report is done. If you want to edit or add any information to the source file, the output AR aging table will be refreshed instantly. Let's say we need to add one more line here for EFG Private Limited. After we input all the data and right click refresh, the AR report is updated too. To make it more presentable, we can rearrange the column to make it in sequence. 